Lord Jesus Christ, I covered this channel, this recording device, my recording time, my battery juice, my computer. Everyone come to this channel with the precious blood of Jesus Christ. I bind rebuke, I break and destroy, and I strip the power of Satan and his kingdom from interfering, attacking, and coming against my equipment. Anyone come to this channel in Jesus' name. Hello, everyone on YouTube. Today is the day of your salvation, people. Choose you today who you're going to serve, Jesus or the devil. Do you want to go to heaven or do you want to go to hell? Take your pick. Backsiders, Christians, repent for a holy God. Forgive and let it go. Everybody who worship, not worshiping Father God, Jesus and the Holy Spirit, go to the description box. It tells you everything you need to do except Jesus as your Lord and Savior. If you're new to this channel, welcome. And I, somebody be praying for you. Okay? And I pray you accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior ASAP because this is no joke. Look, people. This is a picture I'll tell you about. I got Father God in clear, clear blue sky. You click my name, go to Father God, you will see him. He got angels on running flying on his forehead. He got Sarah from Zunder. I know him by that nose because that face shows up all the time in a lot of my photos, okay? And this is what uh, the Lord wanted me to post with this message. Also, let me show you. Hold up. Where is it? Angel, you go to Angel Flying Line. These angels are following me. I recorded them. And uh, also look at the stop sign while I stop. You're going to see a, a light angel on sign. You're going to see the whole screen flash when he move off. Also, angel, angel. And here's some portals. Yeah, another little angel. Okay. And I am in the sky because it's a light pole. But I'm going to get this message out quick, fast, and hurry. Look, people are putting me uh, warnings out like crazy. I'm going to put them in the description box. Please take heed to the warnings because Holy Spirit has been tingling me like crazy. Okay. And especially when Sister Mary told, said we were about to get hit from one of my messages, which was Sunday, that we were going to get attacked on North Time. I said, Russia, I've been tingling forever. And I've been getting me lemons like crazy. Uh, the warning is Amos 7, okay, a vision of locusts, a vision, vision of judgment, a vision of locusts will start. The confirmation is Jeremiah 9, judgment for disobedience and weeping in Jerusalem, and Amos 4, Israel failed to learn, okay. Also, uh, he cut me off before I even said, ask for mercy, he said, I have given mercy, I have given mercy. Then I heard in spirit, my father is furious because they won't listen to me. And I have been interceding for them, like praying for them. Also, he said that I was talking about waking people up because a lot of people don't know. And he said, we have our way of waking the masses up. So that's why I heard in spirit. Uh, y'all been playing with God too much. I keep telling y'all. Y'all running around here rejecting Jesus. Look, people, when I go off, when I get off, please go sub Jesus, your Lord and Savior. Go in the description box. Check the stuff out. Okay, people. This ain't no joke. All right, here we go. A vision of locusts. The sovereign Lord showed me a vision. I saw him prepared to send a swarm of locusts over the land. This was after the king's share has been harvested from the field. And as the main crop were coming up in my vision, the locusts ate every green plant in sight. Then I said, Oh, sovereign Lord, forgive us, or we will not survive, for Israel is so small. So the sovereign, so the Lord relented from his plan. I will not do it, he said. A vision of fire. The sovereign of the Lord showed me another vision. I saw him preparing to punish his people with a great fire. The fire burned up the depths of the sea and was devouring the entire land. Then I said, O sovereign Lord, please stop or we will not survive. For Israel is so small. And then the Lord relented from his plan too. I will not do that either, said the sovereign Lord. A vision of plumb line. Okay. Then he showed me another vision. I saw the Lord standing beside a wall that had been built using a plumb line. He was using a plumb line to see if it was still straight. And the Lord said to me, Amos, what do you see? I answered, plumb line. And the Lord replied, I will test my people with this plumb line. I will no longer ignore their sins. The pagan shrines of your ancestors will be ruined and the temple of Israel will be destroyed. I will bring the, the, the dynasty of King Jeroboam to a sudden end. Amos and Amaziah. Then Amaziah, the priest of Bethel, sent a message to Jeroboam, king of Israel. Amos is hatching a pot against you right here on your very doorstep. What he is saying is intolerable. He is saying Jeroboam will soon be killed and the people of Israel will be sent away in exile. Then Amaziah sent orders to Amos. Get out of here, you prophet. Go back to the land of Judah and earn your living. Excuse me. <clears throat> Let me find myself. Earn your living by prophesizing there. Don't bother us with your prophecies here in Bethel. This is a king's sanctuary and a national place of worship. 
But Amos replied, I am not a professional prophet. I was never trained to be one. I'm just a shepherd. I would take care of sycamore fig trees. But the Lord called me away from my flock and told me, go and prophesy to my people Israel. Now then, listen to this message from the Lord. You say, don't prophesy against Israel. Stop preaching against my people. But this is what the Lord says. Your wife will become a prostitute in this city. And your sons and daughters will be killed. Your land will be divided up, Babylon. And you yourself will die in a foreign land. And the people of Israel will certainly become captains in exile far from their homeland. Look, people. Take heed to this warning. Go in the scripture box and tell you everything you need to do except Jesus, your Lord and Savior. Okay? The Lord has spoken. I pray this is not the final warning. I don't like giving these messages. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise God.